Hey, hey. Wagwan, what are y'all dealing with? I have a lot to talk about today. Um, there is a lot going on, obviously. Well, the first thing that I want to start with is a moment of silence for Sonia Macy, who was slaughtered in her Chicago home holding a pot and standing there in her nightgown by Chicago deputy. She should not be dead right now. I want to talk about a lot of what is going on right now with the election, but the first thing that I got to say is people tone it down a little bit because neither one of these candidates actually know your rusty ass for real. So calm it down, boo. I have been seeing so many people attack, attack, attack on the end of Kamala Harris. I'm talking about people is going hard for their VP, boo. I just want to let y'all know, just because somebody is not in support of Kamala Harris doesn't mean that they're automatically going to be voting for Trump. Y'all childish. Anyway, I um, want to talk about specifically some of the things that have been coming to light now one of them is the statement that kamala harris made as it relates to black people saying she will not pass bills just for black people so i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people no a lot of people <laughs> wonder why she made this statement during the term of biden's presidency with her as vice president they have been passing laws for just the indians with the 11848 bill which states that they are taking land into trust for the benefit of the Puyallup Indians for their reservation. They have been passing bills for just Asians. S-138 promoting bill. resolution to the Tibet-China Dispute Act. Um, so that one was for just Asians. In her term as vice president, there have been bills that was passed for just birds even. H.R. 4389 bill for the migratory birds of America. So obviously she's able to have bills pass at discretion but she just wants America to know specifically white America I will not come into presidency hooking up my homies so to speak so she just wanted to make sure that everybody knew she would not be passing bills just for black people oh no but how is the Kamala Harris campaign going you might ask I'll tell you how first and foremost she is riding the black and feminist coattails hard and okay. proclaiming herself to be a woman president might actually help her out a lot more you got him, girl yeah i got him in 2022 yeah. it was recorded that there were 10 million more women than men voters registered to vote in 2022 alone so she might know that but black people have been going hard for her also there was a group black of women, women that got together on a call and they raised in three hours 1.4 million dollars for her campaign alone. Also, oh, don't oh. count black men out. A group of black men who got together and they raised $1.3 million for the donations to her campaign. Overall, her campaign has been said to raise $50 million in grassroots donations alone. Yeah, so you kind of wonder when black people say, we could help our communities, but we ain't got the money. We get the money, dollar, dollar bill, yo. Where did this money come from, I might ask? There's a lot of talk also about her prosecution record. Because now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. None of this was your fault. Because when she was a prosecutor in California, she was said to have prosecuted high numbers of black men for a marijuana crime, them high numbers of time in prison. Um, some would say even just to keep them in there for the free labor. She even made jokes about being able to have high numbers of prosecution during her time. You know, she bragged about it. I mean, she even was known to withheld the evidence of a young man that would have gotten him out of jail. She withheld the evidence until the courts basically had to force her to uh, let that evidence go. So baby girl ain't no hero basically she made a statement talking about the fact that america is not racist now all of us black and brown people in america pretty much know that that is for sure the case but when you don't identify as that 
when you do not carry yourself or identify as a black woman, you only use it whenever it's convenient for you, then you would think that America is a racist because if you only have to wear it for five minutes and 23 seconds, then um, you wouldn't have to feel the heat that a lot of black people have felt in America, not only in our times, but as far back as America has been alive, America has been racist. So many would wonder why she made that statement. I mean, you would have to be highly naive to make that statement because even if you're from somewhere else, the racism in America is something that people do know about. But speaking of her conditional status as a black woman, it is known that she is sometimes classified as Indian American. Um, so her nationality has been all over the board and has been questioned at this point. Um, but speaking of nationality, there is somebody else that is on the hot seat as far as topics as it relates to race, colorism, and nationality, and that is South African singer-songwriter Tyler. She was on The Breakfast Club. Wake that ass up. Mm -hmm. We have Tyler. Tyla. Hello. In her interview, when she was asked about this, she kind of turned around and looked at her people like, y'all, uh, anybody want to help me out with this one? School, school me on these debates that they be having about your identity as a South African colored person. What, is, what does that even mean? Oh, I like that. We keeping that in the interview too. And she was instructed to not answer the question as it related to this because I guess that her people kind of felt like this would be a little bit too hot for her to talk about. Later on, she made a statement explaining um, what she meant as far as calling herself a colored woman. Yo, guys, never denied my blackness. I don't know where that came from. I'm mixed with black, Zulu, Irish, Mauritian, Indian, and colored. In South Africa, I would be classified as a colored woman. In other places, I would be classified as a black woman. Race is classified differently in different parts of the world. I do agree with that. She also said, I don't expect to be identified as colored outside of South Africa by anyone not comfortable doing so because I understand the weight of that word outside of South Africa. But to close this conversation, I'm both colored in South Africa and a black woman. Because of her being a mixed race woman, um, she would be considered a colored woman in South Africa. That's the term that they use. But that she did understand that in America, she would be classified as a black woman. And many wonder why she didn't just make this statement when she was in the interview. It might have cleared things up better than her just looking like she was avoiding the question. But it does bring up a question for me. That question is this, y'all. What do you think as it relates to race and nationality? What is more important? Is it race and nationality? Or is it how you identify yourself and how you carry yourself as a person? This is right. what I mean. If you have a person that is a mixed race person, a black mother, white father, or even the other way around in America, right? Many people will see that this person is mixed. They see that they have a white parent or that they're obviously not fully black. And they mainly will judge that by your appearance, of course. They'll judge that by different things, your hair, your your appearance, um, if you have curly hair, if you have lighter skin. But also, one thing that they will ultimately judge you by is how you carry yourself. Um, I think, me personally, I do think that your DNA, your nationality, your race is all... Things that are important in determining who you are because you could be from somewhere else. You could have a parent that's, I don't know, from Ireland or you could have a parent that's from Africa and, you know, from Nigeria or, you know, you could have a parent that's from the Caribbean. It is about how you carry yourself, how you were raised, because I think that that can't be counted out, how you identify and how you carry yourself because... Even though you do have all of these things to classify, like you might not say, oh, I'm a mixed race black person. You might say I am Jamaican and Irish or, you know, whatever the mixture might be. But if you are living in America amongst African-Americans and you are raised as an African-American, you know, if you um, carry yourself in that way and you carry yourself, um, you know, just as a black person, then that's what people will see you as as well. So I think that it does make a difference. It makes a difference to come you. in and, and you're talking in a way that you know black people can identify with or even if you carry yourself in a way that black people can identify with ultimately if they see you and you carry yourself as a black person you come amongst black people and you know they will just see you as a black person in this case even with Kamala Harris is it the fact that she has different parents of different nationalities 
Or is it the fact that she does not carry herself as a black woman? As they say, they not like us. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. I know this has been a mouthful of a video and there is a lot going on. But in the midst of all of that, maybe you could find some time to hit me up in my social media, which I am going to put right here for y'all so y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comments and connect with me. Also, I want information right here as well so that y'all can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that whenever I do put out new videos you'll be able to follow along and be up with some likes get up with some love you know the deal come on now you know the deal by now but in the meantime in between time peace